Hi, I'm Robert Dresser with LPKF Laser and Electronics. Today we'll be reviewing the LPKF TMG3 Laser Transmission Tester. In laser welding, one of the main factors influencing the quality of your weld is the transmission value of your selected material. As we know, in laser welding, we require a laser transparent component and a laser absorbing component. When your laser transparent component is not transparent enough, or if your laser absorbing component is not absorbing enough, you'll have poor weld quality or perhaps no weld at all. This is where the TMG3 solves the problem. The LPKF TMG3 is a laser system, not that welds, but that measures the transmission value that passes through your material. The TMG3 utilizes a 980 nanometer laser, which is identical to the wavelength used in laser plastic welding. This ensures that the results are as accurate and as relevant as possible for your laser welding process. The TMG3 is very easy to use. Start by taking the material you wish to test and place the welding region under the TMG3. Instantly, you will receive your transmission value. In laser welding, we often use the phrase laser transparent. It's a common misconception that laser transparent means optically transparent. This is not true. In fact, a number of colors can be used with laser welding. Take this black component, for example. It's not at all optically transparent. However, when placed under the TMG3, we receive excellent transmission values. 89.4 is a great transmission value. In fact, it's even greater than the transparent material we just recently tested. The more transparent, the better for your transparent component. As always, the laser absorbing component must have 0% laser transmission. General rule of thumb for your transparent component is that it must be at least 20% transmissive. The more transparent the material, the better. This will allow for less laser energy and will have shorter cycle times. Just as important as laser transparency for the laser welding process, laser absorbency is also very important. You need your material to be fully absorbing so that when the laser hits it, it will heat, allowing for your weld. Taking this supposedly laser absorbing component and measuring it under the TMG3, we see that the transmission value is 14.9%. This means that it's not suitable for laser welding. Although the transmission value is not very high, it does allow for transmission, meaning heating would occur subsurface. Therefore, it is not suitable as the absorbing component for this laser welding application. Because laser transmission is such a crucial part of laser plastic welding, it's often where we start when troubleshooting a sudden change in weld quality. We understand that weld quality is an important part of your manufacturing process, which is why we always recommend anyone using laser welding have a TMG3 on site for quality assurance purposes. When failures in your manufacturing process aren't acceptable, you can't really afford not to. If you'd like to learn more about laser plastic welding or any of our products, feel free to contact us using the information below.